Put this one on. It was somewhere up the country, in a land of rock and scrub, that they formed an institution called the Jibung Polo Club. They were long and wiry natives from the rugged mountainside, and there was never a horse that was saddled that the Jibungs couldn't ride. But their style of playing polo was both irregular and rash. They had mighty little science, but a mighty lot of dash. And they rode sturdy mountain ponies that were muscular and strong, although their coats were quite unpolished and their manes and tails were long. And they used to train these ponies, wheeling cattle in the scrub. Oh, they were demons were the members of the Jibung Polo Club. Now, it was somewhere down the country in the city's smoke and steam that a polo club existed called the Cuff and Collar Team. As a social institution, it was a marvellous success, for their members were distinguished by exclusiveness and dress. And they rode natty little ponies that were always smooth and sleek, for their cultivated owners only rode them once a week. But they set off up the country in pursuit of sport and fame, and they meant to show those Jibong boys how to play the game. And they took their valets with them just to give their boots a rub, before they started operations on the Jibung Polo Club. Now, listeners, you can only imagine how the contest ebbed and flowed. When the Jibung boys got going, it was time to clear the road. And the contest was so fierce, before half the time was gone, one spectator broke his leg just from watching on. And they waddied one another till the plane was strewn with dead. And the contest so even that neither team got ahead. And as the, cap, the, cap, the coffin, cuff and collar captain tumbled off his horse to die, he was the last surviving player, so they called the game a tie. And as the captain of the Jibungs raised him slowly from the ground, although his wounds were mostly mortal, he fiercely gazed around. There was no one to oppose him. All the rest were in a trance. So he scrambled for his pony for one last aspiring chance. For he meant to bring glory and victory to his side. So he struck at gold and missed it. And he tumbled off his horse and died. Now by the old Campese River where the breezes shake the grass, there's a little row of tombstones that the stockmen never pass. On each there bears an inscription that reads, Stranger shed a tear for the cuff and collar players and the Jibung boys lie here. And in the misty evenings when the dingoes howl around, you can hear the, those phantom players on that phantom polo ground. You can hear the loud collisions as the flying players meet, the rattle of the mallets and the ponies' racing feet. Till the terrified spectator rides like blazes to the pub. He's been haunted by the spectres of the Jibung Polo Club. <laughs>